Hello, I'm Rowan Cockett from the Executable Books team working on MIST Markdown and templating uh, for MIST Markdown so that you can get documents out for scientific PDFs to submit to preprint servers and journals. Uh, and I also am one of the founders of CurveNote, uh, which creates uh, scientific authoring tools um, for scientists. And I'm here with Steve today. Hello. <laughs> Hi folks. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm also. I work for Rowan. I'm also on both projects on executable books and uh, on Kernel. And today I'm going to be uh, adding my uh, first latex template from this. Yeah. Along with so, Rowan. so a, a bit of an overview of this um, sort of webinar slash work through um, of the of, of working through LaTeX templates for MIST Markdown. We're going to just give a quick overview of the of the tools that we're going to be using, some pointers to where you can find documentation on creating a template. And then we're going to work on Steve's computer um, to actually uh, convert an IEEE uh, conference template to uh, to work with MIST Markdown, and then use that template um, with some content to actually compile a, uh, a, a document from MIST Markdown all the way to a PDF that you can submit to the conference. So um, as a bit of a orientation, uh, mist.tools is, uh, is, is a a landing page that you can come to. And this is about community-driven tools for the future of technical communication and publication. It's uh, working on MIST Markdown, um, which I'm sure that you can find a lot more about uh, on the website. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of online books that are created, including uh, tools like JupyterBook that use MIST Markdown. And today, we're going to be talking more about using MIST Markdown to create scientific publications. And that includes PDFs, so I'll just open these up. Uh, Word, Word documents, as well as templates, which we'll be uh, working on and through today. And so scientific PDFs, this allows you to get your missed markdown work out in a number of different scientific formats, including two column PDFs that are co common for uh, preprints and journal articles. And uh, it ultimately comes down to putting uh, an export target on in the front matter of your missed markdown document, and then building that document uh, when you have LaTeX installed in your computer. And so this this can work from either uh, Jupyter notebooks or missed markdown text files. And today we're going to be using MistJS, which is the JavaScript implementation of MIST. And what that does is parses uh, Jupyter Notebooks and these markdown files into an abstract syntax tree. And then uh, it uses JTEC, which the J stands for Jinja Templating, which some of you might know from the Python community is a popular templating library. And tech is obviously referring to LaTeX. And so this, this is the templating library that we'll be using today. And then there's also some tools that convert this uh, abstract syntax tree into uh, LaTeX, and that's really where the bulk of the conversion is happening. And then JTEC is used to template that out, put the appropriate front matter on, authors, uh, footers, bibliography, those sorts of things. And then uh, you get a LaTeX document out, and then that creates a PDF document when you compile it with LaTeX. And so uh, hopefully that gives a bit of an overview of the process that we're going to take. Today we're going to be spending most of our time in JTEC and thinking about how to create that template. And so maybe I'll, I'll stop there for a second and Steve, if that sort of makes makes sense. That will make sense, yeah. Okay, so maybe yeah. I'll quickly jump over to JTEC, the JTEC package, and uh, really just sort of give you a, a sense of that. So the first thing that I think Steve's actually already done is install JTEC and check the version and, and, and then we're gonna sort of be off, off to the races there. And we're primarily gonna be following the uh, guide of creating a template. And this will allow us to take that IEEE PDF document and uh, work with the LaTeX to actually create um, the template so that it can be used with missed markdown. 
And so I think Steve will get that up on his computer and then we'll sort of walk through all of the steps together and sort of discuss the various pieces as we're going through. Totally. And maybe that's a good time to switch to Steve's computer. Mm -hmm. Perfect, so I'll stop sharing and Steve. let you get started. Cool, and I'm back on that uh, documentation page that everyone just showed. And I'm also working in VS Code. So uh, over in this desktop, I have a copy of VS Code. And there's already a, a collaboration session open with Rowan. So you can come in here and help out. Yeah, maybe do you want um, to show the conference template to yeah. the, the, the final PDF to know where we're where we're yeah, totally. And what I've already done is I've already unpacked what the what the IEEE provides as the conference template. And this is the sample PDF built from this uh, sample text file. So it's a two column format with uh, yeah, a sort of grid of authors. And this builds on top of the IEEE transactions class. Uh, and they were also provided how to there going into lots of details, I imagine. Uh, there's lots of settings involved. The transactions, there are about 50 or 60 different flavors or different journals all under the IEEE transactions. So I guess the quite lightweight usage for conference templates. Uh, template looks pretty good. Uh, there's a yeah, sample figure in, some sample headers, et cetera, a short reference list. Numbered references. Numbered references, yeah. yeah. Are they in text references numbers as well? Uh, hard to see. Yeah, I think I, I read yeah, the, no. the format yeah. and it said use if you're referring to it. To yeah. You just say, yeah, just it's just the number always. Yeah. So a few style recommendations that we're sort of certainly thinking through and thinking about how this works with the rest of the MIST ecosystem and, um, mm -hmm. and references there. Great. So we've got the PDF and we've got the uh, text content there yep. ready, to, ready to use. That's awesome. Okay. And then the other two things that we've done beforehand is just install uh, MIST JS as well as, um, as well as JTAG, so 0 0.71 and JTAG is at 0 0.50. Maybe if you oh, want okay. to make your screen a bit bigger, just in case. The whole thing, there we go. Yeah, just one, I yeah. think that's probably good. Great. Awesome. Okay, let's go back to the docs. <laughs> okay. So I've already got JTAG on and I'll just start going through this, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. I've got Python in the store, but I don't think I have a cookie cutter. Yeah, so cookie cutter just is a repository that allows you to create cookie cutter style repositories. And there's one that uh, is set up for a template as well. And so that's that next command. Um, okay. And so you can, so this is just on the missed templates repository. It actually might be worth bringing that up real quick to show miss dash templates. Yep, that's the one. It's actually in an organization, no? It, yeah, it is an organization. And the only reason for that is that there are a, a whole lot of templates in this organization and it gets super cluttered if it's in a non-templated <laughs> organization, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, so I and think each there's... repo in here is a template itself apart yeah. from the templates repo. Yeah. The templates repo has a collection in that data folder uh, with some YAML um, in there that just right now lists the LaTeX configuration. And then it also creates a bit of an API around it um, so that you can access this from web services as well as mm -hmm. uh, the JTEC um, command line tool. And this is where there's also some issues open about and different people requesting. Oh, wow. Well, we should assign templates. the conference template to you while we're there. Perfect. Great. So this is a central place to sort of come and chat and uh, put templates up. Or if somebody's working on a template, post an issue here, help, etc. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, and this this is like certainly not necessary if you're working on your own. You can just obviously create a template. Um, but if if there is one, you can add a request here, and uh, possibly someone on on the MIST team could help out, or someone from the community um, could uh, could help out with getting the conference template or some sort of LaTeX template over the line. Okay, we were about to copy the cookie cutter line. We, I think I did copy that. Cookie is uh, installed. Oh, nice. Wonderful. And I'll be just run this command. And I've got type on my template. Okay, so where's this information going? Is that just going? This is for the YAML file. Uh, it does a bit of the YAML file um, as well as the package and gets you sort of set up with a whole okay. bunch of different. So this, this is all going to go into our metadata, et cetera. Yeah. Anything like typo. Yeah, exactly. So, so the, the better I you do in these conference. questions, the easier the rest of this is going to be. Description. Uh, I'd say uh, the official IEEE conference template. Oh, I just enter. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to capitalize that. Oh, I see. Uh, we put in, that's good. Yeah, I think so. Select a license. Oh, oh, I think you might have had two enters. And so it, we can change that in a little bit. Um, OK, uh, did I just skip the repo name, or was that the default? I was assuming that was default. That was the default, yeah. OK, I can enter there. So I will just, uh, yeah, I'll I just take the default. Yeah, take the default. I think, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think we should change these questions in the future as like template author. Yeah. Um, I'll put my personal options. So we might want to change this after it gets created because I, I think this should be IEEE is the author of the template and this isn't your name. If that it's makes true, sense. exactly, because I'm, I'm just yeah. the contributor here. Yeah, well, well, let's fix that up as soon as I finish this. Yeah. Author so so this, this should be IEEE. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Great. Okay. okay. Right, so now I have a new folder inside. Okay, so what, what has gotten created in here is that template uh, dot tech, which doesn't obviously have anything in there right now, but it does this give us done. a bit of an idea of how to start this. Mm -hmm. And That's then right. the template.yaml and the readme is where most of the information went. And so IEEE conference, and this is probably where we want that name to be IEEE and the website to be uh, whatever it is, IEEE.com probably. Does this need to be a fully qualified domain? It does, yeah. And it'll, it'll warn you. Um, Great. Awesome. And then it has a, a few pieces of information that we will add. So the tags refer to the uh, template itself. And so we might want to put something like conference in there. Are these free for? They are free for. Yeah. OK. There's some suggested ones, like probably two column is something that we want to tag this with uh, to just let, let people know. Hyphenated. Uh, we can Is that... maybe check the docs later. Mm. Um, and then what else should we do? So the, the abstract is, is certainly something that's going to be in there as a part of this document. And this is just default. Um, default example. Okay. So that's actually data that's provided in the YAML file at this stage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so we'll, I, I know that IEEE has some extra requirements for the abstract, like their plain text, for example. And so that's other, other pieces and they have their own description of what an abstract is as well. Okay. Great. And then we've got doc with some, I think, options. 
potentially. For the so these thread. these are pieces that are defined in the front matter in MIST front matter, and so things like uh, the title, the short title, authors, affiliations, those are document properties uh, that need to be uh, just listed in the doc piece, and that's that's a closed set of uh, mm -hmm. predefined information that really the only uh, the only thing you need to do there is say if it's required or or not. Okay, great. And the same with options, I guess. This is yeah. similar. similar so, okay. Uh, options, so the options yeah, are, so the, are, are the piece where you can open that up to, mm -hmm. these are specifically defined options for your template specifically. Yeah. So the mental model is here, is where about to develop this template it's then going to be used with a document, and that document is going to have front matter. And then this is allowing us to specify what front matter this template expects or will attempt to read. Yeah, exactly. The document when we render a PDF review. Yep. Great. And then it's got one file, I guess, because this is pretty simple. Yeah, um, currently. <laughs> then we've got a, a declaration on the packages yep. used. Okay, and cool. Uh, a lot of these pieces are going to be automated with the JTAC CLI. And so maybe it's worth doing that right oh. now and just uh, jumping into the... the do you want to do that part. now or flip back to the... Well, let's just show quick that right. the... So if you CD into the... Folder, yes, of course. And then just say JTAC check. Uh, not as a... Just as a command. Yep. Okay. 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 So, so there isn't a thumbnail yet. So, I mean, maybe we can fix that right now, actually, <laughs> and take take a thumbnail of um, of the uh, PDF document mm -hmm. and just take a screen. We, I will do that now. But this is specifically saying my template YAML doesn't say anything about thumbnail. Uh, so, in in the in the default, uh -huh. I I actually keep that there in there. Go. And so, if you remove that, it would say please add a thumbnail. Um, mm -hmm. But this is saying but that the thumbnail this is actually same. doesn't exist. Exactly. It's sort of validating this file. Yeah. Great. That's <laughs> what's your favorite way of taking a... Uh, zoom out. <laughs> I'm sure there's a clever way to just like yeah, I mean, convert the PDF. I'm not good enough at image magic. I don't know how to do that. But... Screenshot works well. <laughs> if you are, please drop the command in the comments. <laughs> there we go. Aha, uh -huh. and then JTAC check again, and it should complain about, I think, nothing at this stage. But totally, it's from. Uh, well, I mean, except we don't have, don't have any anything in the template. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> but it's happy, great. Yeah, and then I just type JTAC, and I can start and see all the commands, etc. Great. Yeah. Actually, it may, maybe it's it's worth just showing the list command even while we're here. And just say JTAG list. And so this this is what is hitting that templates um, folder. And so there's a whole lot of uh, pieces in there. And you could say JTAG list MDPI, maybe. That's a, a relatively complex template. MDPI, yeah. And this this is something that this template.yaml that we are creating gives a lot of information about what sort of parts are in there, um, all sorts of different things that are required for listing funding or conflict of interest and data availability, as well as the choices that you can make um, when you're actually Excellent. building that in. Excellent. So if you've got your content ready and you want to target a particular journal, you can use these commands, like a help system to find out what you need to provide in your front matter. Exactly. Yeah, great. Yeah. And that's that's all all validated when we get over to MIST uh, at that at that part as well. That is awesome. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's go a bit further. Yeah. Get get to the <laughs> almost down the second page. So I think we've we've probably laid out a little bit about what the template folder is starting to look like. Uh, mm -hmm. The only thing extra in that code block is the original piece, which I, I think is probably the next step. Okay. So that's to make an original folder yeah. inside my template folder and put my so new folder. 
and just copy the um, inter internals of that. Yeah, over. Yeah. Perfect. Great. Awesome. Cool. cool. And this this is just making sure that we uh, are are not touching that, and we can see all the changes, and it still sort of works. Great. Awesome. I think we've already been through the template. Yeah, I'm only understand. We've got to stop template text generated for us. Yeah. Great. So this this is sort of just explaining those um, those rules, and so we're we're gonna be putting in things like imports and content, and having some some information for. Uh, so let's go ahead and and do that now. Yeah. Copy the yeah, content yeah. across. I wonder if maybe make a, a quick copy of the current template deck text so that we can refer to it um, later. Right. Uh, not the YAML, the template.tech. Oh dear. So. Sweet. Yeah, that works. Great. Okay, so then I think going into conference, yet yeah, this template and just copying. Okay that fully into the template.tech in there. And then if we save that and maybe just like run JTech check again. So that now there's all sorts of extra stuff that it, wow. uh, it tells you. Okay. So it's by default looking for this file, of course, because it's, uh, a it's standard it is, name for your template.tech. It, it does by default look at it, but it is also listed as the first uh, file in the template.yaml. And so we Great. can, because uh, actually the next thing that we're going to want to do is copy over the, the class file and list that in um, uh, directly. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's see if that works. Yeah. Great. So I'm basically listing out, I guess, then all assets. All assets. Would, would, uh, if there was a logo, would that yep. also be in here? Yeah, that would also be in there. Uh, it, there's no S, by the way. Thanks. Cool. If you want to check again. It, it would actually. Yeah, I think what this will do is uh, tell you even more errors. <laughs> So now you okay. can see that the 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 class file has also been parsed, and this is just mm -hmm. very simple parsing, looking for um, uh, environments that are potentially going to clash with the uh, export when you're doing it from MIST, and this allows us to check those. And all of this is actually um, can be fixed automatically, and we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit as well. Awesome, right? So we've got a content in one place. We've copied our style file across. We don't have anything else at this time. We've added that and okay, the yeah, files. we're done. So now we're going to templify, templatify. <laughs> templatify, yeah, templify. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, our template of text, okay. I'm going to just actually zoom this in as well. Well, a little bit just for the, yeah. Okay. Yep. So you can click on right. template variables even, and this will, um, well, that shows sort of the same sort of things, but they, we, we went through this a little bit in, um, or these are familiar to you from the template.yaml in terms these of the ones, doc yeah. options parts. Uh, and, yeah, then, and then these, I think I'm familiar with a bit from before, which is these are like placeholders, the inline and the tech. File that yeah. then they're gonna we're gonna inject some content in there or mist will when it mist mist will when it uh, when it puts things in. It was creating your document using the template. Yeah, right. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So yeah, I, well, I think we should start with the title. <laughs> yeah, um, and copy copy that in. And so I'm just gonna close the right one. And I don't think we need the class one from right now. No. Great. So yeah, look, looking There's the title. familiar with that. Um, uh, very strange that there are thanks in the title. 
Um, we can maybe move that out and comment it out. Or I could I could do that because I'm right here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, go ahead. Um, and we are uh, in... footnotes in subtitles. So well, it's saying that we shouldn't shouldn't add any of those. Um, I think that's just informational. Yeah. yeah. So, so this this is certainly certainly why we want to keep the original around as we can refer back to it. Yeah, totally. So if I remember correctly, the syntax for doing this is yeah, okay, it's this sort of square bracket with uh, hyphens, yeah. and that's meaning insert. Yeah. So this is uh, this is for, for variable uh, insertion, I guess. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's going to be the doc title. Mm -hmm. And then I feel like we could even save that and and see what JTech check thinks of it. Uh, and maybe scroll up. I think that's oh. us, yeah. Yeah. We do have it already defined. Ah, OK, yeah. good, yes. So that was in the stub, so yeah. I'm a little surprised it doesn't complain about the bibliography not being included, but maybe that's not good enough right now. But that's that's totally fine. Is this something um, that would? No, I don't think so. Convince it. OK, um, that's fine. Just, Let's move just on. Not, not, not implemented. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we have a typo. Awesome. Oh, that is another typo that I'm seeing start with the title again, um, because the next thing we probably want to do is add an abstract. Um, and yeah, so, now this we're using a different ginger yeah. syntax. So this, yeah, this is this is an if statement now. Oh wow, you use yeah. the copy button. That's so clever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, so the 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 syntax for this is um, with the the pound sign or the hash, um, and this this just checks if the abstract is actually defined. And we should probably copy this out as well into um, the YAML. Into the YAML, yeah, exactly. Great, and I can just put that in here. And if I get the yeah. indent right, yeah, and oh, we can maybe it's going to be happy. Change it a little bit. Uh, this and. Uh, because I, I think really actually um, we want to say something like this is the abstract. And then the, the important parts of this are the template specific things that do not use symbols or special characters, footnotes, or math in uh, in the abstract. And I think actually uh, there's a, um, a, a extra thing that we can check maybe in JTEC check um, if plain is an option. Even just run JTEC check. Yeah, because uh, that'll, that'll complain about the template.yaml if it's not correct either. Um, like if we change that to plain one, for example, maybe now we'll see an error. Yeah. Aha. Okay. So that, and maybe it's worth actually showing where the docs are for that as well. Oh my gosh. Where are the docs for that? In template.yaml. On the, uh, in the reference section, sorry. On the left hand side. In template.yaml. Yes, sorry. Okay. Uh, template uh, options, I guess, or, well, uh, sorry, it's template parts because this is the abstract that we're working with. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And down um, here, okay, we have a plain flag. Yeah. It must so be plain text and will be converted during this whole process. Okay. Yeah. And so there's also the max characters, max words that are also uh, at least throw an error um when you're creating this through through mist but other than that um they're they're pretty simple great was there a, a, a limit no there is we didn't see anything limit in the that abstract they, guidelines that said, so um, okay so probably not see that tree at the moment yeah. yeah so that's one good thing to note here you're creating a template so the consumers of your template will get this text yeah as their guide as it were so 
it's good to make this yeah copy copy fragments across from the official guidelines as we're going yeah 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 cool. i think that's that's certainly even more appropriate for things like data availability or funding agencies or, or things yeah. like that and here again where we've got the if just to don't add an empty environment if yep. it's not uh, specified but then we're actually again interpreting available but now we're picking that up off parts instead of doc yep which is a different section of that front part. yep yeah great awesome let's run okay the, uh, uh, change again. claim back oh no oh, I didn't. no i didn't i can do yeah go ahead sweet that's that Great. All right. Okay. What will we do next? Will we do imports next? That's yeah, good. sure. Yeah, that sounds good. So we need to tell it somewhere to inject uh, the template. The imports, yeah. Which and are the, the base packages that MIST needs. Yeah. And so this is generally the best place to do it is right probably after all of those use packages. Ah, or wherever. OK. And we I need think, those I think, I think probably, in. yeah, it's. Uh, a lot of them are generally used for um, the template mm -hmm. itself. And because they're going to be listed in the package.yaml, there's no, or the template.yaml, there's no reason to remove them really. Um, exactly, because we're going to take care of any collisions yeah. or double loading. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I just want to put an extra space there. Yeah. Awesome. Well, JTAC will come complain oh yeah about one less thing now um which yeah. is great <laughs> cool uh, we can also do the same with content but should we leave that yeah a no, bit we can, might as well just put it in um right so where's my main body it's great i guess start here yeah and does it end all the way down that uh -huh. We've got acknowledgement sections. Acknowledgements is probably and references. They would be special, no? Uh yes. So I'm thinking yes. here. Yeah, that, that looks about right. And then we put a content in there. Yep. Cool. Fantastic. Do you happy with that? And the uh, okay, I'm not actually sure what. Can you go back and look at the PDF uh, conference just quickly and show what the references section looks like? I can't tell if references is. Yeah. But it also, if you scroll down as well, does it also have a. Re okay. So that, that references section ah, is actually just advisory. Advisory. And I think we should keep the acknowledgements in because we're going to do something special around acknowledgements because that's a, so a part. I should so take we, this out. We can remove that part up to the bibliography. Yep. Great. And then we might as well follow the the last Great. bit and remove that. We've got, yeah, we've got one content block. If we wanted to get content in here dynamically after a part, we just add additional parts. Yes. Yeah. 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 We can remove uh, the V space. This whole good. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. And this is again is all in the original, so we're <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're fine. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Lovely. And this is a lot shorter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is okay, more so manageable. This is nice, easy to deal yeah. with. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Right. Um, Will we just keep going through this? And uh... yeah, let's go back to the docs. Um, and the and sort of see where we are. Um, we started with the title. We did a bit. Add to the abstract. Add to the template YAML. I think we've done that. It's happy. Yeah, and, and again, we, always, I think... we jumped ahead and did this, but yeah. we could back up and do authors. Yeah, the the authors is definitely going to be the hardest part. Um, oh. Okay, yeah, I think, okay. I think so. Let's do it. Cool. So this this is where we sort of are getting to. There's a whole lot of 
stuff that in the template is um, is in there. And what JTAG provides is these author blocks on the document and also affiliations on the document. And then there's been some pieces that are expanded from sort of standard MIST front matter so that you have access to things like uh, the uppercase letter and the index uh, so that you can easily, so that you basically don't have to count in your um, template ever in set variables. Okay. So that's that's well, quite nice. Great. And we've got this new syntax, which is these double hyphens, yep. which is just making sure that we uh, go to a single line. I didn't know that. That's yeah, this is something that's that cool. Franklin, Franklin taught me. If you click on control white space, it'll bring up the the docs for that as well. And so this this is a standard Jinja. Um, that's syntax. very cool. I've used yeah. that Jinja before and didn't realize you could do yeah. that. Because we we want the the end uh, example to have the authors on one line and be as sort of concise exactly. and latex and nice as possible. Um, but this is. I want to come in here and just paste that for inspiration. <laughs> inspiration, yeah. And just to remember the syntax and doc structures we've got available. Yeah, totally. And let's have a look at the author. So we've got multiple authors separated by an and. No special ending or anything. And we've got an author block. Oh, where's the, that finishes there, does it? No, that finishes there. No. <laughs> Where's the end of author? It's one big author, right? Ah. So, sorry, it's one big author command. And then these are uh, authors inside there. And then it's other commands. It has this and except for the yeah. last one. And so that's actually something maybe we can. Uh, okay. Should, should, should we maybe build it um, above and not edit the. Other one too. Yeah, let's, right let's, let's do that. Let's, let's move stuff up. So it's author, so we're and then it opens. And then there's at least an and at the end. <laughs> uh, it's um, an and at the very end. Ah, it? Sorry, sorry. Uh, at the end of each one, yeah, but yeah. Not, not the other ones. And so that's this syntax here of if loop last, if not loop last, um, then, cool. we, then we put an and in. Great. And we're is... looking over all authors. Yes. I Here. The end four is. Oh, you've already. No. Uh, yo, we have that in there. Oh, we have. Okay, right, right. right. I have an extra end. Uh, end to get rid of that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's at least the very basic structure of, of that. And now we need the IEEE author block N. But yeah, no, I, I, I think you're quite right, is that this is actually the first- For the benefit of the example. For the benefit of the example, is that we actually put the name in there. Cool. Okay, uh, that, that makes name. Me... Yes, correct, yeah. It's given name surname, so uh, name will just get me that. Name, name will get you that. And there is some extra docs on exactly what else is on the author as well. Um, and that is in the document model. If you click on that side and then look at document authors, yeah. And so given okay, name, then given name, surname, um, and then it the also has name. So if we needed to construct, uh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Okay. So all we need is author name. Yep. And then this is the affiliation block. Where does that bracket end? That's all the way down at Orchid. Um, right. Let's so, try and just have a look at what eggs is example content here. So they're asking for the department name and the organization name and address in email or Orchid. So I guess what, what have we got available on? On affiliations. If you affiliations. go back to the, the docs right now. Uh, right now, it's actually just value. Um, I think that's probably something that will expand a little bit more and be more like, like, give it an address or country and those sorts of types of things on affiliation. But I think at the moment, let's just put affiliation dot value. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, we don't want atomics. 
So, uh, do we? Oh, actually, well, let's actually where does the do it in the tally and yeah, I think I think we actually should should do that. And and here it actually uh, lists out multiple affiliations as well. So maybe if you don't mind, I can copy Go ahead. to the place we're working up here. And then we can delete all of this and then work a little bit clearer. So, so I'm working in this area. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the name and yes, the affiliation yes. and the and <laughs> at this stage. And the for loop ends there. So we're looking for, I think what you were doing before is this text italic and then uh, an ending of the line. And we want to do that for each affiliation, actually. OK. And so that's going to be a uh, for affiliations. Or well, there's going to be probably an if affiliations first. So if affiliations mm -hmm. for the author, and we'll copy in the end if as well. Uh, Do you think that should be outside and we don't declare the macro at all? Uh, the only reason that I would put it inside is because email address and ORCID are also included in this affiliation. Got you. And so I think it's like... Okay, I see where you're you going. Yeah. Yeah. Carry on. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to guess while well, you carry on with that. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can put some of the ORCID stuff in there if you want. Um, uh, okay. Well, everyone's doing that. I'm just going to flip back here. Authors. It was lower caps. Totally sounds tricky. Me. Okay, this is going to be a little tricksy, actually. <laughs> But I want I want to be opening up with this text italic. Mm -hmm. um, I want to loop over all of the affiliations and join on value, and so that's what this syntax says. So we're going to get a comma separated. Yeah. List. So so this this currently would be a comma separated list of all of the values, and that's not actually quite what we want. We actually want this to be um, joined with uh an end of line and then an opening of the text italic again if that if that makes sense yeah um and we'll we'll see and tweak this as as we uh get get to that get to that Great. stage as well let's and then right uh, uh, i put the author id in what i was going to so... do next I think we should check. probably just guard that with an if statement as well. Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, if author, and then also just put it here. Uh, and if, just so that that uh, line break escape is also inside there. Okay. I'm taking a guess. Yeah, I haven't checked back the docs. But I uh, think if, or is, if corresponding, yeah. And the syntax is wrong. Sorry, that should be like that. No, yeah. And then we'll insert the uh, author dot email. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, email and corresponding. Yeah, great. So then only the corresponding author will get their email up. Yeah. Or the corresponding authors. Authors, that, yes, that, exactly. That, that can be added on all of them. Okay, I think that's good. Will we take this out? Uh, let's I don't just see anything check. else. I think that's probably fine. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Can always check the original. Save. Okay, and then let's JTAC check and see check. see where we're at. Okay, all of these. Uh, with the exception of the draft one, which was the default, are actually fixable um, automatically. Okay, including the the red. No. Oh yeah, man. Okay, right. How do we do that? <laughs> uh, let's check the check the help on JTAC check 
dash h maybe right. or from the command line even that's going to be in the command line docs if it would it should although gosh those are not up to date um, well, then let's go and ask check this <laughs> yeah. source of truth yeah. um uh, what, dash, dash help yeah that works yeah Okay, so there's a fix. There's a fix. Let's try that. Let's see what that does. Okay, uh, we should probably improve that. But if you go back to the template.yaml, um, in that this uh, printed the errors and then attempted to fix your YAML. And so if you run JTAC check again, it will probably actually have many fewer errors. Huh. <laughs> Excellent. That, that would have been nice to show on the first one to give you a bit more confidence that uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that things were working. But if you scroll down, it can show you what got added. And so this, oh. this primarily just added those packages that it's found um, in alphabetized order. And then it also added the known document property authors um, right. in there. And do we want to do anything else there? Um, uh, yeah, re required. Is it required? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's I think that's totally fair. Great. And then I see this one staring at me. Yeah, we might as well just delete okay. that. Are there are there any options that are going to be in this? Well, I, I, we haven't addressed the class. No, I think if we were building an I triple trans template, actually. Then, and maybe that's something we should do instead. Then conference would become an option. Yeah. And potentially there are a whole set of options to choose from uh, that we'd have to go and read about. Yeah, so we can leave it for the moment, we can leave it like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, Just and then we can there. think about. We can think about upgrading this to the actual IEEE transactions yeah. template. Is there anything that we can do for the purposes of the the webinar that we're currently <laughs> find ourselves in? <laughs> um, uh, for, for this, but then we could just list that one option, and then we can go off and find out what the other options are. Yeah. Well, or or well, let's just show the docs now, and then um, and then remove it because I think in the JSON yeah, yeah. docs there's. I've only got a couple of notes for fact to shoot as well. So let's do a clapperboard moment. Okay. Okay. Yeah, as in cut here. But yeah, we we can do something else though. I and I've still got uh five minutes or so. This uh I feel I feel like we I can we, get... I really want to try and do something around the we've got the acknowledgement, the keywords and the bibliography to do. Yeah, I think we should get to testing this with mist actually um, right. and that that's probably the next thing that we should do and and then we can come in and fix the final little pieces around it right let's do that so let's so next up then uh let's get a there's still things to do but let's yep. get a build of the pdf let's let's, let's start here. start making sure that things are working um so Sorry. I think uh, if you in the top folder just create a markdown file. I'm just going to paper.md. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just and that's in the top. Directly? Yes, oh, it's nice. outside Perfect. of yeah. the conference. Yeah. And then I'm just going to um, paste some stuff in there actually before you start ah. writing um, yeah. which this is just well, a a big big long example that saves us from actually um having to write things so yeah, it wasn't as uh okay and then I think we can maybe let's keep keep a few things, but get rid of most of the content of this. 
And so we at least have a part that's an abstract. And so that's that's using this plus 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 part syntax. If, if I have more parts that I have, if I have parts that are unknown to my template, that will just be included in the content. In the content itself, exactly. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, I think that's good. And then uh, da, 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 da. we can get I triple E all of this. Yeah. So we have to point to the folder, which is I I triple E underscore conference. Okay. And we're building the PDF. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, you're quite right. Let's build the tech to start with so that we don't have to wait. And then let's see what happens, maybe. maybe with, with that. Yeah, so let's we, do we, it. We have, some, we have a title, we have exports. Um, and so if you uh, pop up a directory, yeah. Yeah. And then say uh, it's missed export tech, and then just give it paper.md. And what does cool? I said uh, could not find citations and it's not happy with the bib. We've no bib files yeah, actually. That's that's totally fair. Um, can you run it again? Wow. Okay, so we've got a references dot bib. Did you add anything? Did you have to add anything? Uh it looks for the bit files folder. Okay, yeah. look, it's found it. Awesome. That's great. And it's saying now I have a build folder. Ooh, I think there's an issue with Mr. Yes. If you uh, create the build a uh, build folder, um, uh, oh, okay. Just make make their underscore build. I think. I uh, see the error. It's okay. Maybe. Okay. Uh, let's let's. Take another path and we'll specify where the output should be and we'll fix that shortly um and just uh if you I've, do i need I've that added, art, is, output uh, article to the exports is uh, that a I, folder in, in the file tech it's a folder um right. i could actually add zip here and then that would be a file but tech has multiple uh files that it creates um, including the, the other pieces it didn't like making that it didn't, didn't like make that at all will i make the folder let me actually just specify that did it i did uh i made the folder and it's happy okay where is the folder? Oh, uh, it's on, on, on your machine, not on my machine. <laughs> I, can't, I can't had see it. Try hitting, okay, you might oh, hit refresh. Awesome. Yeah, okay. That's so cool. Okay, okay yeah. look, and if I go to paper the tech, what we have, we've got a bit file. Huh. Uh, we've got our whole thing. Look, there's some imports here. I'm guessing that's from this. Yes, that is missed. And we put our, our authors, affiliations. Oh, uh, we accidentally left the example in. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, so that's yes. that we can delete, maybe. Yeah. Have you done that? I have done that. So you could run it again right. and, and see that. Let's run it again. Okay. And that's dated. Yeah, that's more like it. Awesome. Great. Does that does that actually looks like there's an extra slash in there somewhere? Exit UBC something. And there's a missing T. Uh, uh, so there's an escaping issue. There's an escaping issue, and so we need extra slashes for the string. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Save. Try again. Yeah, that's, that's happy. looking better. So text it, and then it closes, and then it's a break. 
That looks great. And then the orchid, then okay. We've got an abstract. Great. And it's produced a bit file, but we didn't we haven't done anything with our bit file yet. We so we okay. haven't haven't done anything with our bit file, so we're probably gonna um it's actually probably oh. quite quite easy if we want to do that right now and copy in the template.tech uh from this one. Uh which is the the one the the sorry the original template.tech at the bottom of your screen, the bottom of the list there. If we just copy this into the IEEE template at the bottom. In place of in place. that whole section. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, okay, and we'll yeah. just 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 do it for now. And I think this will actually build. Um, and that that'll probably there we go. Okay. Be good enough. There's the main.bib. And then I'm gonna head over here and just change it to PDF and see what yeah. happens. Your build commands. No need to there. add uh, my build command's gonna change. Is it? Yeah, to PDF there. And this is something okay. that we, the, the docs are actually ahead of where the CLI is at the moment. So that will be missed to build um, with the filter command. Awesome. It created a PDF. Did it? OK, but there was probably errors. Um, yeah, I, I think we maybe. need to make that slightly less. Um, wow. Less crazy. Yeah. Yeah, there were some things to. Uh, that that one's actually text, um, but but the the bibliography didn't work, and I think actually all we need to do is say numbered true or um, something like that. I'd need to look at a different um, missed templates uh, that is numbered. We probably need to expand the. Do you have that to hand? I am looking it up, which okay. clearly means the the docs aren't good enough. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think. So citation numerical only is going to be one part that we need. And then we're probably going to also have to specify um, something else. And so I, I could copy that part into the template YAML possibly. Go ahead. And so this, this is something to have those numerical citations. And so one, one of the challenges is that um, MIST allows you to do both parenthetical and narrative citations. And when you say numerical only, that translates them all to cite keys, which is something that's necessary. And that wasn't quite enough, but we do need to set the bibliography style. Um, uh, and that is using NatBib somewhere and is gonna be another, let me just get that in. And this is actually gonna go into the template.tech file as well, uh, which is this template.tech. And just up at the top, even, we'll just add natbib and say uh, square, okay. which, which satisfies, I think, their requirements. Fine. We've got this bib tech thing going, that's not messing with any built in. I is that completely think, standalone? I think that I is standalone. Yeah. Yeah. And let's see if that actually made a. Oh, yeah. Look, the references have now appeared in the abstract. References have appeared. But um, we have a list, but not quite with the right format. They're not quite the right format yet. <laughs> um, well. I think that's that's going to be that's something we can address. And yeah, I, I think that's in part this two. is now in part two, but but certainly something that we want um, 
yeah, to make those square and just follow the actual style guidelines, unless it requires LaTeX knowledge at this point um, mm -hmm. for, uh, yeah, for, for the template author. And usually what I've seen is the templates out there generally have more defined bibliography. So this often isn't actually necessary when porting over a template. Usually the authors or the template, the LaTeX template authors actually specify that. Okay. But you don't have to. But yeah. Great. Okay. Well, we, we went from uh, what? A tech template file to a JTAC template. Um, still through needs a, a few PDF with tweaks some content. through to yeah. LaTeX and a paper uh, all, all the way through. And that took probably about 50 minutes or so, yeah. which is really cool. So cer certainly some pieces and docs to improve uh, and errors to fix, but it's getting getting pretty exciting. Yeah, that's extremely fast really, yeah. in terms of creating a reusable template. So I think probably another hour and we definitely have it under wraps. Yeah. There's some of the trickier bits to figure out. Awesome. Cool. Great. All right. Thanks so much. All right. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.